let's solve this problem 323 in this problem it is said that a 35 newton axial force at b is required to open the spring loaded plunger of the water nozzle so this is the water nozzle and here at this point b 35 newton axial force is required to open the spring loaded plunger of the water nozzle so this means that we have to apply the force in this direction in the positive x direction if this is my positive x direction and if this is my positive y direction so we need to apply the force in the positive x direction at this point b in order to open that spring loaded plunger and it is said they determine the required force f applied to the handle at a right so we are asked to find this force this applied force and the magnitude of the pin reaction at o and we have to find the reactions at this pin at this point o so now if if we consider this handle as the system under consideration so if this handle applies a force in this direction in the positive x direction so that plunger will apply the force in the opposite direction right since we are considering this handle as an as a system for consideration so then we will consider the reaction force of the plunger on the handle right so we will draw that force in this direction right so this force the plunger will apply the force on this handle in this direction and the magnitude of this force will be 35 newton right and here this o will have reactions so there will be a reaction in the positive x direction if i draw that there will be a reaction at this point in this direction and there will be a reaction let's say in the y direction as well so let's say that this is ox and this is oy right and this is that 35 newton force so we have to find this f now if we resolve that force f into its components right so one component will be in this direction right so this will be the cos component and there will be one component in this direction right so this one is the cos component this is the f cos of 10 degrees and this one is the sine component the f sine of 10 degrees now if we want to find that force f so we will apply this condition that the summation of moment at point o equals to zero and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this 35 newton force is producing counterclockwise moment about this point o so we will write 35 and the perpendicular distance of this 35 newton force from this point o is this 18 mm right so i will multiply this with 18 similarly we can see that this sine component this sine component is producing clockwise moment about this point o so i will write minus and this will be f sine of 10 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point o is 44 mm right so i will multiply this with 44 and as we can see that this uh, cos component is also producing clockwise moment about this point o so we will write minus f cos of 10 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point o is this 38 mm right so we will multiply this with 38 and since the reactions at point o are passing through this point o so they will never produce moment at this point o right so this is equal to zero so now we can find f so if we take minus f common so then this will be 44 sine of 10 degrees plus 38 cos of 10 degrees equals to minus 35 into 18 and if we divide both sides of the equation by this thing right so this will be 44 sine of 10 degrees plus 38 cos of 10 degrees and this minus will be cancelled out right so we will be left with the magnitude of the force f so if we find if we solve this so we will get the f magnitude so the f magnitude comes out to be 13.98 newtons
and now we are also asked to find the reaction at this O, right? The total reaction at this O. So the total reaction at this O is this thing, right? So if we write, so the resultant of these two components, right? So O X and O Y. So this is the total reaction at this point O. So first we will find this O X and O Y. So if we apply the summation of forces along X equals to zero, and if this is our positive direction. Right, so now as we can see that this O X is in the positive direction, so O X, this is minus 35 and minus this cos component, minus F cos of 10 and now F is this thing, so 13.98 cos of 10 degrees and this will be equal to 0. So when we solve this O X will be 35 plus 13.98 cos of 10 degrees. So O X comes out to be 48.8 Newton and now if we apply the summation of forces along Y equal to 0 so then we will be able to find O Y the reaction at this point O in the Y direction and let's say that this is our positive direction. So O Y is in the positive Y direction and minus this thing right this sine component right so this will be minus F sine of 10 and F is 13.98 sine of 10 degrees and this will be equal to 0. So O Y is equal to 13.98 sine of 10 degrees and to find the total reaction we can find the magnitude of that O by, by taking the square of both of these so this will be 48.8 whole square plus 13.98 sine of 10 degrees whole square and if we take the square root so this will be the magnitude of that reaction at that point O. So the magnitude of the reaction at point O comes out to be 48.8 newtons. This is the solution of this problem.